To help you understand what it's like to use a self-contained self-rescuer, an SCSR, CSE makes a family of hands-on expectation training devices. This segment will show you how to practice with the SRT. The SRT works a lot like your SCSR and will help you learn two important lessons. How to start your SCSR manually if you pull your mouthpiece plug too soon and the starter oxygen that should inflate your breathing bag escapes through the mouthpiece instead. And what it feels like to use both of the SCSR models you might see on the job, the orange SR100 or the black SRLD. In the short time that you practice with the SRT, you will feel the same range of temperature and breathing resistance that you would experience if you used your SCSR all the way to the end of its operating life. What you learn today is a critical part of escape way training and planning and will help you prepare for an emergency. The main components of the SRT are a mouthpiece assembly that features the same mouthpiece, mouthpiece plug, breathing hose, and nose clamp used on the full-scale SCSR. A breathing bag that stores oxygen until you need it. It operates in the same way as the SCSR breathing bag. A canister assembly containing a chemical that generates oxygen when your breath activates it. The SCSR contains a longer-lasting bed of the same chemical. A neck strap that supports the SRT. The SCSR features a similar strap. An insulated case that protects you from heat produced inside the training canister and provides attachments for the neck strap. You'll begin your SRT training by practicing the manual start. Let's review. Normally, you start your SCSR by pulling the orange starter tag. The breathing bag inflates automatically. Then you unplug the mouthpiece and put the mouthpiece in your mouth. But if you accidentally unplug the mouthpiece before you pull the starter tag or before the breathing bag fills, your first breath of oxygen will escape through the mouthpiece without inflating the breathing bag. And unless a backup SCSR is available, you'll have to fill your breathing bag using lung power alone. That's called a manual start. Here's how to practice the manual start with the SRT. First, empty your mouth of chewing gum, tobacco, or anything else that could block your mouthpiece or cause you to choke. Loop the neck strap over your head. Make sure the CSE logo on the case is facing away from you and the starter tag is next to your right hand. Now, pull the starter tag as you would on your SCSR. Your breathing bag will not inflate, so you will have to do a manual start. First, grab the nose clamp that's attached to the mouthpiece and clamp your nose shut. Then, with the mouthpiece out of your mouth, inhale a deep breath. Put the mouthpiece in your mouth and exhale into it. Blow hard enough to push air down into the breathing bag. Repeat the cycle until the breathing bag is full. It should take only three to six breaths. Then, Keep the mouthpiece in your mouth, inside your lips and outside your teeth, so no air can leak around it. This is the only safe position for your mouthpiece. Don't let any air leak between the mouthpiece and your lips. You want to keep smoke and gases out and oxygen in. Your breath will start the chemical reaction inside your SRT that will give you all the oxygen you need. Now you're ready to move out. In an actual emergency, you would move and work slowly until the breathing bag stays inflated. You can learn more about the manual start in the CSE SCSR training video segment Manual Start and in the CSE SCSR manual. This is what it feels like to use the full-scale SCSR. You breathe only through your mouth. You do not remove your mouthpiece. No talking. If you have to communicate, do it in writing or with gestures. You'll notice some resistance. Breathing will take a little extra work. You'll also notice that the air you're breathing gets warmer than the air around you. Both resistance and heat are part of the process and no cause for concern, either in today's training or in an escape with the SCSR. When breathing resistance becomes uncomfortably high or the breathing bag is no longer inflated, this training exercise is complete and you can remove the mouthpiece. But don't remove it until the end of the exercise. 
The oxygen you've been breathing was only about as warm as the air inside a closed vehicle on a hot day. But the canister inside the insulated case will become extremely hot, so don't handle it until it cools off, or protect your hands if you do handle it. And don't set a hot canister on anything that could be damaged by heat. That's it. Now you know how to use the SRT training device to practice a manual start, what it's like to use an SCSR. Remember that the SRT is designed for training only. It will not protect you during an emergency. Take this training seriously. Don't be afraid to ask your trainer or supervisor if you have any questions or check out the CSE SCSR manual and spend as much time as you can getting used to the SCSR experience. It will help you focus on your escape if you ever do need your SCSR.